Hi, this is Shadi. So, in front of you, you see Koichi Tohe. The reason why I am showing you Koichi Tohe is he is the best of both camps. You see, in martial arts, we have two extremes. The first one being more about spiritual and mental development. No strength needed. Uh, it's all about the wisdom of it all and really growing in life. And you have towards the other end people who are constantly getting stronger training rigorously physically and just trying to fight and beat everyone and be the best but today i'm going to tell you that there is no right and wrong and what i'm about to show you and talk to you about is that there is a right time for everything here you see he is showing between just rigid clash and just taking something in so today we're going to be taking a look at the wisdom of the old masters and see that even in something as hardcore as grappling you can visit both extremes and both camps and like i said there is a good time for everything and we shouldn't discard one and choose the other so here you see is jigoro kano actually performing what is called the koshiki no kata and uh here he's kind of moving like a wave uh, all the way to one side and then exhibiting resistance or feeling the resistance and then going on the other way with it. Here it's called Mizu Nagare or a flowing water. So here you see Yamashita took it and then Kano just stops and just drops down much like a wave that is coming in to the shore and then sweeping everything on its way uh, back. And here we have to understand the flow of things uh, when they happen. It's very important because as Elio Gracie would teach his students, he said there will always be someone stronger than you. So what are you going to do? Constantly use strength and your muscles in conjunction with technique? Of course not. You should feel the movement. Let's take a great example here. Fabio Basile, Olympic champion. Here that right arm was going up to dominate him and break his posture. Instead, he just takes it with him, goes down for a clean victory. That is true understanding of flow and energy being exhibited in a competitive context. So another one here is Sasaki. So you see here, the Kohara, his opponent, is much larger. And um, as you can see, he goes in with a very dominant Uchimata. Let's see it again. So he goes, gets lifted up with it, takes it in. He doesn't stay rigid because if he does, he will just get thrown and his legs loosen up naturally. Let's go of the technique in order to throw him and then gets the win. So let's get back to Koichi Tohe. So here you see he takes in the forward energy, the punch or whatever, the thrust, and he Gives, he says here that um, if I stay too close to it, I'm just going to have to fight again. Because as you see, he has a uh, close range to punch and kick, as you just saw. But here, as he gets back further and takes it in even more, uh, he is, well, in a safe range. And this is also goes in conjunction with the green zones of the Gracies. Now, let's take a look at the five ideals of judo. And when I say ideals, it means you can spend your whole life trying to perfect them, but you cannot. So let's take at the first one. And the first one being is that the idea that it is impossible to defeat something when it is in its pure form. Think of your mind, the posture of your mind, the posture of your body in anything you face in life. The second one is winning without resisting, just like we saw Fabio do. And the third one, and I really like this one, the idea when two things turning come together, they continue turning and then naturally separate again. So, which leads to the fourth one, and that is when a big wave rolls up into the shoreline, it draws back, washing everything away and filtering out everything in its path. So you see, I'm trying to go very philosophical on you. I'm terribly sorry, but you have to try to see beyond it. And then here, when two forceful objects hit, they will just destroy each other. So instead, they never meet 
and then continue to exist stress free now as someone who did aikido for five years and now judo black belt and also starting to train no gi jiu-jitsu i kind of feel everything that i'm doing within these teachings of aikido and just this friday i was in no gi i was rolling with the professor at the black belt and i had my guard passed getting mauled the whole thing uh, but at one moment i was uh in a, a very losing position and the professor was on top and he was doing that helicopter thing where they spin around you and at, at one moment i felt like kind of he was collecting my wrist and then what i did i just kept rolling with him and as i rolled with him it was the right time where he was posturing up to lean back for an arm bar and when i rolled with him it was lost everything his position my bad position the arm bar everything would just naturally separate it so it was kind of like the third and the fifth ideal where they roll and then they separate again and then the um, fifth one where if two clash together they can destroy each other but if they don't hit they miss much like the arm bar uh, they exist stress-free so everything separated everything was reset the position and he even congratulated me for it and it was genuinely a very pleasant moment so I know jujitsu guys they know of these they felt these things especially the veteran ones or the ones that have spent years on the mat they know of these little moments where they can feel it and just go with it but these are the ideals that the old masters have drawn uh centuries ago and even you know this past century we still do not uh fully comprehend them because a we still have a lot to learn and b we're just so caught up in being competitive and we winning and dominating and sometimes relying on too much strength without re realizing it now is it wrong to use some strength of course not you have to measure your situation every fight is different if you grip and you immediately know that you're the stronger person there's nothing wrong with using your strength you just finish the fight but when you grip and realize the other person is very physical what are you going to do fight back sometimes most of the times you cannot and this is when something like feeling whatever they are giving you really works that also can translate to uh, real life you have to understand when there is a moment of conflict or there is a moment of clash try to see what they are giving you roll with it see what you can take from it and then give it back much like the wave that filters everything and much like those two circles will separate again stress free so this is a very long topic and usually i discuss this with the veterans or people that have spent decades training not so much the younger people like late teens early 20s who are like highly competitive so if you have something to add let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening